Yeah. You ready? Yeah. This all started with me watching this YouTube channel Built Fast. The guy running it is a prolific 3D plane designer, in particular small jets. And this plane, a comic fatty vegan, caught my eye. First in the 15mm EDF size and then the 64mm. And I knew I had to try for myself. So I popped to his Colts 3D store and laid down my $8 for the STL files. The designs are not the fancy ones with linkage coupling interlocks and as I only have one 3D printer, I couldn't just churn them out. Of course, you soon sometimes get a failed spaghetti print. And here are all the parts ready for gluing together. I used medium zap with cyano glue and I took my time to line the parts as best I could. And this is the finished plane ready for its maiden the following day. There you go. Oh. Careful. The wings are stronger than the uh, body because the wings are cross, whereas yeah. the body is gyro in film. Well, I think the best bet is just to push it like that. Uh, and, and just just launch absolutely it. up down left right there. Walk over this way, no no just there that's fine that's do like that. up down wind, right so left plenty of power is that all right for you that angle yeah let me stand a bit more behind i'm not sure that wind is coming that way a little bit but that'll be fine you all right with that no, but there we go. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. That's lovely. That was lovely, that. Straight out of hand. That loads of thrust. What size fan is it? Uh, 64. 64. What mech is it? FMS. FMS, oh, but you can't go wrong with them. That was pretty good. A lot better than I expected. Whoa, that was a bit dotty. Gyro, gyro just step, stops all this from happening for you. It makes it a, a, a much of a, a more pleasurable flight for you. I know, but honestly. But another thing is, you know, get some paint on your wings, which you're going to paint it, aren't you? Yeah. Right, then. right I'm bringing it down actually yeah. because I've got too much up. I'd be up. Trim that bit if you want to. Actually, full, full well. It looks right. good. Did that. Let me just uh, trim it down. Right. Did you win again? Did I do the right way? So you got down in now. <sighs> she wanted down, didn't you? Yeah, about there. there. We'll go again. If you want to trim it in here, just say. Uh, he's got those little buttons. They're not so great. And we'll do exactly the same as last time, so you'll just say when. <sighs> Let me just uh, get the wobbles out. Go for it. Speed is not happy. Kick it in a little bit. Is that trim better for you? Let's have a look. It's uh handles weird. It will do because it's because of what kind of plane it is. You'll never get that to fly like a like a scale mod model. There's too much mass and not enough wing, and that's the idea of it, isn't it? Yeah. But that's flying good. I don't know, I wouldn't model it at moment like that. Don't really just fly it, enjoy it. Funny piece of plastic. Oh yeah. Don't really just enjoy the flight. Remember, with it being a, a small wing, you can't turn slow. You've got to keep the airspeed up and stuff like this. Or it will tip stall with these fucking cartoon ones. So the faster you fly it, the better it'll fly and the better it'll turn. Just remember that. This one's supposed to be like a high alpha. It Good is, up. I've seen it, I've seen it on videos, yeah. 
So I was trying to... That's with a bit of wind and you haven't really got a lot of wind to help you with high alpha today, have you? No. So don't worry about high alpha, you settle it down. I'm shaking the knees again, oh, stop it. It's just a piece of plastic, that's all I always say. When you've smashed as many as I have since I was 14 years old, then you can... Oh, I've smashed a lot, but I've I don't want to smash this one, two ages no, to win. No, it's just, you know, you just get used to it, that's all. <laughs> Over 40 years, the amount of planes I've smashed. See, now it's blowing from behind us, is wind. Flies well. It's a sweet little thing, I like it. I've thought about doing it myself. I've just got that many planes and up on my wall. Uh, that's all, but I like it. And it, it, it's been a lovely little fan, you can tell it's an FMS, obviously. Loads of thrust, nice and quiet, well balanced. 4S? Yeah. Because he was flying 6S, but... Yeah, I, I, I like 6S, mate. I like the... I like 6S, S, but, but this is a 4S that's unit, that's so... Fine. That's fine, you can change the motor if you wanted, if it's your lower KV, but don't, no, just leave it. We know it's wind coming from behind us, from, from behind three now, so... Yeah, coming over, over that area. At the moment, it's it's all over the place because it's thermals about, so... Yeah. I'll be honest with you, for a, for a little fucking cartoony, you've got it right. It's, pretty, it's flying well. It is, you've got it right. Let's land it. Power cut, coming in, a little more power. I'm going to land it at the site. Yeah, just land. Oh, nice! Weird little thing. That worked well. Since it survived, it deserves some paint and a couple more flights the next day at the Flying Club. I painted the underside of the wing surfaces a royal blue, but that didn't really help with the orientation. I will be adding some bright colour to the vertical stab and the tops of the wings. I haven't decided on exactly what yet.